in this world. They're heroes. I feel the pain in my city wherever I go. And they're villains. Dwayne Johnson's appearance as Teth Adam in the DC Extended Universe film Black Adam happened after a turbulent development process. However, despite the potential for a Black Adam 2 hinted at by the film's open-ended conclusion and a notable character's return, Johnson's return for the sequel is uncertain. The box office reception of Black Adam was mixed, and the absence of a Black Adam sequel in the recent DCU Chapter 1 Gods and Monsters slate has raised doubts about the film's future. Johnson heavily promoted Black Adam as a significant addition to the DC movie universe, even amid mixed reviews. The film arrived during a period of transition for DC films due to Discovery's acquisition of Warner Brothers, leading to internal changes and the discontinuation of the DCEU movie timeline. The unexpected cancellation of Batgirl further added to the uncertainty. Although Black Adam was intended to revitalize the franchise, it appears that plans for Black Adam 2 have been scrapped. As of now, there's no confirmation for Black Adam 2, and it seems to be in a state of uncertainty since it wasn't included in James Gunn's updated DCU slate for Chapter 1. The absence of Black Adam 2 from the slate is notable, especially with other exciting announcements such as a new Superman and Batman. However, Henry Cavill, who is hinted at in the Black Adam post credit scene, won't be reprising his role as Superman. This complicates any potential Superman vs. Black Adam showdown, making the future of such a fight uncertain. Recent reports indicate that none of the original Justice League members from the DCEU will be returning to their roles in the DCU. This decision reflects a deliberate shift towards a new era in the franchise, emphasizing the replacement of major superhero castings. This shift could potentially impact Johnson's portrayal of Black Adam, as audiences naturally associate this iteration of the character with his initial role in the DCEU. Dwayne recently tweeted about Black Adam 2 not being included in the upcoming DC movie slate, but mentioned that DC and his production company, Seven Bucks, will continue to explore how Black Adam can be utilized in future DC Multiverse chapters. This suggests that while a standalone Black Adam 2 movie is unlikely, it doesn't rule out the possibility of Dwayne Johnson reprising his role as Black Adam in other DC properties or projects within the multiverse. James Gunn responded positively to Dwayne Johnson's tweet, expressing his excitement to collaborate with Johnson and Seven Bucks in the future. This suggests that Gunn may still have plans involving Black Adam, despite Black Adam 2 not being confirmed. The post credit scene in Black Adam, which featured the titular character encountering Amanda Waller, opens up possibilities for Johnson to reprise his role in projects related to Waller or perhaps in Peacemaker Season 2. Rather than solely focusing on Black Adam 2, the DCU could benefit from exploring other popular characters introduced in the film, such as the members of the Justice Society like Hawkman, Doctor Fate, Adam Smasher, and Cyclone. This could provide fresh avenues for storytelling and expand the DC Universe beyond just Black Adam's solo narrative. Talk about the cast if Black Adam 2 were to be greenlit, Dwayne Johnson would likely reprise his role as the titular anti-hero, considering his significant involvement in the film's development. There's potential for other characters, such as Hawkman, played by Aldous Hodge, Adam Smasher, played by Noah Centineo, Cyclone, played by Quintessa Swindell, and Amanda Waller, played by Viola Davis, to return for another installment. However, Dr. Fate, played by Pierce Brosnan, won't be returning, as his character met his demise in Black Adam. Adriana Tomas, played by Sarah Shahi and her brother Kareem, played by Mohamed Amer, could also make a return after their roles in helping save the world in the first film. The storyline for Black Adam 2 remains a mystery, as the sequel appears to have been cancelled, as indicated by Dwayne Johnson's statement on Twitter. The ending of Black Adam showed the defeat of Sabak by Black Adam and the Justice Society, leaving the next steps for the hero story uncertain. However, possibilities for Black Adam's future could be explored in other DCU projects. The post credit scene teasing Superman's appearance suggests that Black Adam might have a role in Superman Legacy. 
However, given the extensive recasting of other DC movie heroes to rejuvenate the franchise, this crossover may not be feasible at this time. Given Amanda Waller's reappearance in the post credit scene of Black Adam, it's possible that the character could show up in the Waller series or Peacemaker Season 2. This connection makes sense, as Black Adam has been part of the Suicide Squad comic roster briefly, and James Gunn's endorsement of the casting could indicate a continuation of this storyline. This potential route holds promise, especially as it could reunite Dwayne Johnson and John Cena, both wrestling icons. However, the budget for such shows may pose a challenge, considering Johnson's high salary for recent movie roles. The only certainty regarding Black Adam's next appearance is that it won't be in Black Adam 2 anytime soon. On the other hand, Johnson appeared on Kevin Hart's Heart to Heart talk show on Peacock, where he discussed the journey of Black Adam. The 2022 superhero film was intended to kickstart a new phase of storytelling in the DC Universe under Warner Brothers. However, Johnson announced in December that plans for Black Adam 2 were not progressing at the moment. Black Adam got caught in a vortex of new leadership, Johnson said when Hart asked how it felt for franchises to be stopped. It was so many changes in leadership. Anytime you have a company, a publicly traded company, and you have all those changes in leadership, you have people coming in who creatively and fiscally are going to make decisions that you may not agree with. Dwayne Johnson expressed confusion and disappointment over the decision to halt plans for the Black Adam franchise, attributing it to the changes in leadership within Warner Brothers. That will always be one of the biggest mysteries, Johnson said. You have the biggest opening of your career. Sure, no China, which could have been maybe 100 or 200 million more dollars. You have a superhero and you want to grow out the franchise. You brought back Superman and Henry Cavill and the world went crazy and we created a diverse superhero portfolio where we have just men and women of color in Black Adam. Black Adam had a strong opening at the box office with $67 million, which was a significant achievement for Dwayne Johnson's career and surpassed the earnings of The Flash, which made $55 million. However, despite its initial success, the film did not sustain its box office performance and did not reach the $400 million mark globally. Johnson likened the decision to halt Black Adam to a situation where new ownership takes over an NFL team and replaces the coach and quarterback regardless of past successes. This comparison reflects his frustration at the change in direction for the franchise despite the film's initial box office success. In December 2022, Dwayne Johnson took to social media to announce that he had discussions within the new DC leadership, including James Gunn and Peter Safran. During these talks, it was decided that Black Adam 2 was not moving forward at the moment. Johnson mentioned that the character wouldn't be part of DC's initial storytelling phase under the new leadership. However, DC and his production company agreed to explore other ways to incorporate Black Adam into future chapters of the DC multiverse. All that I can do, and all that we could do when we were making Black Adam, was to put our best foot forward and surround ourselves with the best people and deliver the best movie we could, Johnson later told Variety. Our audience score was in the 90s. Critics took a couple shots, but that's just the business of it. And there you have it. What are your thoughts on the future of Black Adam in the DC Universe? Do you think we'll see him in other DC properties, or perhaps a standalone sequel down the line? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on your favorite superheroes and blockbuster films. Until next time, stay tuned for more thrilling adventures.